So we were talking about uh, derivative securities. This is actually in our fixed income section. They talk about credit default swaps. Okay? This is actually an option contract. So it's not a swap, it's an option. And it's a way of removing your credit risk. Okay? Your credit risk exposure. So, we need to know the terminology here because it's, uh, it, it can be confusing. So, here we have the buyer of the CDS. Okay? So, the buyer of the CDS. Who would this be? Well, most likely, it would be a bondholder. Okay? I mean, it could be a speculator, but let's just say a bondholder. So, the bondholder has a risk that the issuer of the bond could suffer a credit event, a default, a downgrade, some sort of restructuring. So, the, so in order to remove that credit risk exposure, we can buy a CDS. So we pay a premium. Remember, when you buy options, you pay premiums. It's kind of like buying insurance. And if there is a credit event, credit event, okay, such as bankruptcy, B-N-K-R-Y, or uh, maybe just a missed interest payment, missed interest payment, or a downgrade, uh, uh, or even some sort of restructuring, And our textbook says that this is involuntary restructuring. So any of these could trigger a payment. And now the uh, buyer of the CDS will receive a payment. And uh, that payment or settlement could be uh, physical or it could be cash settlement. Okay, so, uh, so let's hold on to that. Let's fill in the rest of this CDS. We've got the buyer. Over here, we have the seller uh, of the CDS. And the seller of the CDS, this might be an insurance company or something, so they're collecting the premiums and they will make a payment if there's a credit event. They are hoping that there's no downgrades or bankruptcies. That's what they're thinking. So, uh, this is the mechanics of a, a credit default swap. And now, uh, just to uh, take it up a notch, to crack the code in case they have this on the exam. Okay, so uh, let's uh, clear this up. And now, remember, they're gonna make a payment here, payment PMT. Now, uh, let's just see here. So, uh, the seller of uh, the CPS, Okay, well, they're hoping that there's no downgrades, no downgrade. Why am I picking on downgrade? Because it will help us to remember, okay? So no downgrade, I'm thinking positive thoughts here. Okay? And this is kind of like the way you would think if you were long a security. So the long side of a CDS is actually the seller of the CDS. Over here, the buyer of the CDS, okay, they were the bondholder. When did they get a payoff? They get a payoff if, yes, there is a downgrade, okay, if there's a credit event, if there's something negative, okay, and we associate you know, going down or negatives with a short position. So, the short side of a CDS is actually the buyer. The long side of a CDS is the seller. I think you've got to know this language. That will help you crack the code on the exam. Okay, so now we'll move on to an example where we uh, do the calculation.